happened will crush the uh, son of the woman seed and that is what is called as crucifixion there the the advent of the lord jesus christ into this world it had been lahem until until calvary is itself is something that is totally unprecedented uh, nobody had ever imagined that the lord god will give his own begotten son actually there uh, even though satan knew that uh, the lord god would basically I would send his son he never knew the time of his birth there so there are three mysteries in the old testament the first mystery is what is called the mystery of christ himself because uh, satan thought that uh, he would finally win this entire contest against uh, the lord god but uh, he couldn't do that actually so therefore the birth of christ which we call the advent of christ is the greatest mystery that we could look into into the entire aspect of what is called as atonement there the second greatest achievement that came into it is the life of Christ and the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. You know, and that is what we are going to look into this uh, in this particular session. What kind of uh, torture he went through, what kind of tribulation he went through. Because, let me sum it up. What all the Lord Jesus Christ endured in the 33 and a half years of his life, and what all the Lord Jesus Christ endured in the last hours of his life, is exactly the tribulation that to come actually. The seven years of tribulation has been foreshadowed in the life of Christ, actually. So, what we could see all the way from from his birth until his uh, until his resurrection, it is nothing but what humanity will go through tribulation. The Lord Jesus Christ went through this tribulation. Why did he have to go through this tribulation? The Lord Jesus Christ went through this tribulation because he did not want you and me to go through this part, actually. and that is one of the main foundation principles of the pre tribulation rapture today there is a lot of talk about what is called as the rapture taking place middle the tribulation or after the tribulation because you believe in the lord jesus christ because you are washed by his precious blood because you have approached the uh, the salvation uh, therefore what happens is the lord jesus christ has transferred that redemption that he won on the cross of calvary to you actually that's the reason why we have this particular verse that says we are heirs and co heirs in christ jesus so therefore in order that we should not go through tribulation he went through tribulation and that's the reason why we find that the tribulation uh, uh, is something that has been normal in the early church actually in fact the early church went through all the tribulation that the lord jesus christ went through morning our pastor reverend john brito did speak about the church of pergamon and also he spoke about the church in simona the kind of tribulation that the church of simona went through and then the kind of uh, you know the, the different kind of challenges the church has went through has all been exemplified in the tribulation to come like this so therefore tribulation is something that is very common to a christian and if you are a believer in the lord jesus christ let me assure you uh, brothers and sisters in this world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer for i have overcome the world said the lord jesus christ in the upper room discourse actually what was the kind of tribulation that the lord jesus christ the lord jesus christ uh, what were the kind of tribulation the lord jesus christ went through in this particular point of time uh, in the in the vedha vedha gama maraiti kootathil nam indraiku vandu kattragi yesu christ in the ulagathil avar paada anubhavathai உபத்ரவ காலமாகவும் அவருடைய வாழ்க்கை பூராகவும் அவருடைய இருபத்தி முப்பத்தி மூன்றாய் ஆண்டு அவருடைய வாழ்க்கை பூராகவும் அவருடைய கடைசி இருபத்தி மூன்று மணி நேரங்கள் அனைத்தும் பார்க்கும் போது அவர் இந்த உபத்திரவத்தை அவர் அனுபவித்தார் கற்றாக இயேசு கிறிஸ்து அனுபவித்த ஒவ்வொரு உபத்திரவும் வரு வரப்போகின்ற உபத்திரவ காலத்தில் இருக்கு நிகழப் போகின்ற ஒவ்வொரு சம்பவத்தை குறித்துதான் அதை சொல்லப்படுகிறது அதனால் தான் கற்றாக இயேசு கிறிஸ்து தான் சிலுவை மரணத்தில் அனுபவித்த பாடுகள் யாவற்றையும் கத்திராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவை ஏற்றுக்கொண்ட அனைவருக்கும் இந்த பாடுகள் வரக்கூடாது என்பதற்காக தான் இந்த இரகசிய வருகை யாராவது ஒவ்வொரு காலத்திற்கு முன்பாக நடைபெறும் என்பதை திட்டம் தெளிவுமாக வேத வசனங்கள் கூறுகிறது இந்த உபத்திர காலமானது கத்திராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் ரகசிய வருகைக்கு பின்தான் இந்த உபத்திர காலம் Uh, are become then there is a question now what are the present signs many people are now asking what are the present signs is this the tribulation 
அஹ் இந்த காலகட்டம் உபத்ரோத்தின் காலகட்டமா என்பதை அநேகர் இதை இதை குறித்து வினாவுகிறார்கள் இதை குறித்து வினாவும் போது நாம் நமக்கு வருகின்ற கேள்வி என்னவென்றால் We find that in, in, in Matthew chapter 24, verse 8, uh, Matthew will be in the civilization, the people who are living in the world, these are the beginning days of sorrows. That is what I could basically say that in the way. What did the Lord Jesus Christ experience in the Garden of Gethsemane? That is why Jesus Christ to Gethsemane thought that the end of the man of God is the end of the man. What happened to the Lord Jesus Christ was, the cup of the of the wrath of god was poured upon him in the katraga devanudiya bigunda turudiya avade kobathin kalasamanadu avan meedu utrapattathu the cup of wrath will be poured during the time of tribulation devanudiya in the ukra kobamanadu in the ukra ukra kobathin kalasamanadu ubathro kalam kattathil utrapadum indai katraga yesu christu mun kurithe வசனங்களை குறித்து பார்க்கும் போது மத்திய இருபத்தி ஆறாம் அதிகாரம் முப்பத்தி எட்டுல இருந்து நாற்பத்தி ரெண்டு வசனங்கள் மார்க் பதினாலு முப்பத்தி நாலாம் வசனம் லூக்கா இருபத்தி ரெண்டு நாற்பத்தி ரெண்டுல இருந்து நாற்பத்தி நாலு வசனங்களை பார்க்கும் போது கத்ராகி ஏசு கிறிஸ்து கெட்சமனே தோற்றத்தில் வருகின்ற உபத்ரவ காலத்தில் இந்த ஊட்டப்படுகின்ற தேவனுடைய கோபாக்கினியின் கோபத்தை அவர் அனுபவித்தார் இந்த உப்பர கோபத்தினால் கத்ராகி ஏசு கிறிஸ்து அவர் என்ன அனுபவித்தார் த லார்ட் ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் சன் ஆஃப் காட் கத்ராகி ஏசு கிறிஸ்து பாவம் அறியாத தேவ குமாரன் the lord jesus christ was both perfect human and perfect divine ketraga yesu christu paripurna oru manidhana irundar paripurna deva kumaranam irundar therefore the lord jesus christ could not tolerate the separation between yesu christ and devan irundirukku avare pirikkindra andha sandarpa soolanai avaral thaangikolla mudiyavillai in the tribulation period we will uh, in the tribulation period we are left behind will experience this separation from god in the varigindra in the ubatro kalathil paarkumbodhu devarude kobakini ootrapadumbodhu inda ubatro kalathil makkalukku endra vidamana devarude kripai irukkadu adhaavadhu prachithanavar indha ulagathil kriyai seidhalum adai andha akramathai thadai seivirukana prachithanudaiya vallamai akkalathil irukkadu the holy spirit will be working during the time of tribulation but the restraining power uh uh will not be uh, uh there in this part of the tribulation there what was the kind of the wrath of god the lord jesus christ suffered in the garden of gethsemane katra jesus christ in gethsemane total ebadumana in the ubatravathi avar anubhavithar mudalavathu paarkumbodhu avar thaanga mudiyatha all the vedanayum varthathiyum avar mana ulachalai avar avarku yerpattathu the lord jesus christ experienced intense deep anguish and agony there and because of the deep agony and, uh, and agony and anguish he was separated from the father the father's face was hidden to him and that led to a medical condition which our pastor who the medical doctor will tell us it was called as hematodrosis the hematodrosis is basically what is called as a medical condition in which the sweat glands will ooze out as blood இந்த ஹீமோடோசிஸ் என சொல்லப்படுகின்ற இந்த மன உளைச்சலினால் ஏற்படுகிறதால் நமக்கு வருகின்ற இந்த இந்த மன உளைச்சல் ஆழ்ந்த மன உளைச்சலிலே ரத்த வேர்வையானது ரத்தமாக அவர் 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 வேர்வித்தார் a mixing of sweat with blood and they and that leads to a total hemorrhage in the brain actually that rag yesu christ in the bigunda and mana ulachinal avar irunda and vedanayinal and the ubatravathin vedanayinal avar ratha veruvayaga maarnadu and ratha naalangile ratha naalangalum mattumillamal ratha naalangalum mattumillamal and the veruvai sindhi varumbodhu avarude veruvai rathamaga maarinadu this is a very 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 depressing situation this is a death like situation in the sulnalayana the maranathukuriya sulnalai 
Therefore, this is the tribulation the Lord Jesus Christ experienced in the very first hour of the 23 hours of the grim torture that he went through that time. Secondly, the Lord Jesus Christ began to imagine the prospect of being separated from God. As Jesus knew all that is going to happen to him, uh, as we see that in John chapter 18, verse 4, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ as a perfect human being went through hell and eternal damnation while being on earth. And there are six dimensions of hell and an unspeakable suffering. The Lord Jesus Christ was consciously suffering in the Garden of Gethsemane. He was suffering it in the palace of Anas, the palace of Caiaphas, the Antonia fortress of uh, Pontius Pilate, the proprietor of Judea. He was suffering the same thing in the palace of Herod and all the way to Golgotha in the Via Dolorosa. The Lord Jesus Christ was suffering hell and eternal damnation right on this earth. Uh, in the Ubatro Kalatin, they were the Ukra Kobate, Katrangi Yesu Christu, in the Walagatilirkum Bode. That is the reason why the perfect atonement can be the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other perfect atonement that has been given to us. So the Lord Jesus Christ went through uh, the, the entire dimensions of our suffering there. What was the first suffering of tribulation the Lord Jesus Christ went through it? Let us now compare the suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ and what the tribulation will be there. Whatever the Lord Jesus Christ suffered on earth during the last 23 hours will be the kind of conditions that will be in the tribulation period. First condition that we could see into it, the Lord Jesus Christ was in the blackest of darkness. We see that in 2 Peter 2.17. Secondly, the Lord Jesus Christ was surrounded by the devils and powers. Uh, in the Ulagatan Adigarianas, Ulagatan Adigarian, Satan would be a Matra, Isasi would be a Akhil Pulaga, Katragi, Sariram, our Woodparta Patadil. He was forsaken and exposed to humanity's sin. Uh, the Lord God exposed the Lord Jesus Christ to this particular horror. Kataragi Yesu Christu and Iroti Mundra Mani Neratil, Satan would be a Palmudaman and Takulakulaga, our Alanar, Anal, our Anaitim, Sadika Kodia, Tev of Palami Avril. What we could see here is that the Lord Jesus Christ was able to endure every torture of the devil and Satan during the 23 last 23 hours of his life there. In the tribulation period, my dear brothers and sisters, let me tell you. Please tell those people who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ that there will be the darkest of, of what is called a sin. There will be the darkest of what is called a distress. There will be the darkest of what is called a desolation. There will be what is called as darkest of what is called a despair in the period of desolation. And not only that, you will find that heavens will come on earth and they will be acting on this world in a very, very violent manner. In the Walagatul Amparthamodil, in the in the in the Satan only a Kutangal in the Walagatil in the in the uh Ubatra Kalatil, Yelvara Ubatra Kalatil, in the Walagati or Panandra Maga Matividum. The world will completely be changed into a desolate wilderness by the Antichrist and by Lucifer and his demons there. Christ Jesus went through this uh this this entire demonic oppression during this last twenty three hours of his life there. Thirdly, the Lord Jesus Christ was a was Loaded with the entire burden of humanity's sin. Uh, in the Ulagatan Anitu Pavanglum, Adam Tuvengi, Kadesi Manitan say the Pavan Vare, Kadesi Manitan say both in the Pavan Vare, Anitu Pavangladan Vuria, and the Parate Katra gave an hour Mudigil Sumanda. The Lord Jesus Christ was given this burden of sin upon him. Romans 6 17 to 18 talks about that. Romer Kalidan and Nuru, Mara Madigaram, Padana, Padana to Vasangal, Vasik the Modu, the Tragi Yesikrus in Mel Pita, in the Wolagat, the Nani to Pavangle Mormir Vita. As a foreshadow of this burdening of, 
of what uh, the Lord Jesus Christ went into it. His back was dipped into, into what is called as, a, as someone who has plowed the field. அரண்மனையிலேந்த there are many people who say that the rapture will come after the tribulation my dear brothers and sisters if you are going through the tribulation be prepared to bear the entire brunt of the demonic oppression uh, revelation chapter 9 verses 9 to 11 talks about the opening up of what is called the bottomless pit and and we find that the entire demonic army of 200 million will invade this world actually there demonic oppression is something that no human can withstand there right? and that for those who are going to, uh, those who are going to go through the tribulation period will be real martyrs because they will face everything they will not deny the lord jesus christ but they will come out of it but since you have known the lord jesus christ right now please take this as an opportunity please recommit your life to the lord jesus christ that you are prepared to stand before the lord jesus christ three times look 2136 says that you should be prepared to join at uh, any time in the rapture actually there it says he found worthy to escape all these things and be found worthy to stand before the lord jesus christ in the ulagathil varigindra paadu thorangalai paarkumbodhu migavum kodiya paavangal kodiya paadugalai irukkum adanal kattraga yesu christian in the ubathra kalathukku munbudaga varigindra ragasya varigil nam yavarum kadandu selvudhan kattraga yesu christian namakkaga niyamitta in the or three slakimum in the bakimum this is a blessed hope of christ jesus according to titus 2:13 he to rendu 13 will sollabadi na namakkaga niyamikapatta in aashirvadamana aananda bakim enbadhi naam sollabodi fourthly the lord jesus christ went through the full penalty of god's judgment katrage yesu christ devunudaiya mulu kovaathine kulaga avar samarpikapattar in the tribulation period those who do not know the lord jesus christ or who have rejected the lord jesus christ and who have rejected god will go through the seven seal judgments seven trumpet judgments and seven bowl judgments by the time the 21 judgments are over in this world this world will be totally devastated my dear brothers and sisters let me tell you again what you are seeing today with regard to this corona virus is nothing 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 compared to what you going to see the tribulation period Indra, in the in the in the uh, lockdown period le irukka pani indha corona virus naal varu erpatta thaakathai kaatilum miga 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 pal madangana oru ukkaramana thaakamanadhu indha varigindra upathra kaalathil varum endrai naan inga thittam theliyuma solla varugiren because the full penalty of god's judgment was laid upon the lord jesus christ according to isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 to 6 இசையை எழுதின தீர்ப்பு தரிசன புத்தகத்தில் ஐம்பத்தி மூன்றாம் அதிகாரத்தில் நாலுல இருந்து ஆறு வருஷங்களை பார்க்கும் போது தேவனுடைய கோபாக்கினை அவர் மீது ஊற்றப்பட்டார் இயேசு கிறிஸ்து நம்மை மீட்டெடுப்பதற்காக அவர் தேவனுடைய அன்பிலிருந்து பிரிக்கப்பட்டார் had to sacrifice the love of god in the 23 hours that he began with the garden of gethsemane until he died on the cross of calvary therefore this entire wrath of god happened to the lord jesus christ not because he was the son of god but he was basically because he was also not only the son of god but also he was a human being kathagi yesu christu tammudaiya vaalkai pidavudaiya andai vittu vilakkapattavaraga 23 kodiya mani nerangal பிதாவுடைய முகத்தை பார்க்க முடியாத அந்த கொடிய வேதனைக்குள்ளாகவும் உலகத்தின் வேதனைக்குள்ளாகவும் சாத்தானின் வேதனைக்குள்ளாகவும் பாவ ஈருடன் வேதனைக்குள்ளாகவும் முழுமையாக அவர் நொறுக்கப்படுகிறார் ஏனென்றால் அவருடைய கிருபாதர பலிதான் நம்முடைய ரட்சிப்பு பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் இஸ் அட்டோன்மெண்ட் இட் ஹஸ் பிகம் அவர் சல்வேஷன் மூலம் the lord jesus christ asked for a body to be given so that he will fulfill this atonement he had to do this atonement primarily because that is the only way by which he can come out of the tribulation 
இந்த கிறிஸ்து இயேசுவின் கிருபாதார பலி வந்து வருகின்ற உபத்திரவ காலத்திலிருந்து நம்மை பொருட்டாக கத்தராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவை தன்னை தன்மை தாமே முழுமையாக அவர் ஒப்படைத்தார் இங்கே கம்ப்ளீட்லி அந்த கிராஸ் ஆஃப் கேல் வருகிறார் The, the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ was that he was offered as a propitiation for humanity's sin actually there. He was offered as a, 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 as a propitiation for humanity's sin because that was something that the Lord Jesus Christ had to do uh, for humanity there. What was this propitiation? That, that, let me explain to you this concept of propitiation there. Uh, the first important thing that the Lord Jesus Christ did as a propitiation was that he completely satisfied the demands of a righteous God. Let me explain to you what is this propitiation means. Propitiation is a biblical doctrine whereby through the death of Christ that the righteous God's demands with respect to humanity's sin on the, uh, on the judgment has been fulfilled. This is a definition given by the well-known theologian Uh, Professor John F. Walvo. Uh, he says, propitiation is a biblical doctrine embodying the concept that the death of Christ fully satisfied that the demands of a righteous God in respect to judgment upon the sinner is being made. Propitiation is the most important thing to say about the truth. If you look at the truth, 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 காரணமாக கத்ராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவை ஒரு திருபாதாரிய பலியாக அவர் ஒப்படைக்கும் போது அவர் வைத்திருந்த அனைத்து கோரிக்கைகளும் கிறிஸ்து இயேசுக்குள் நிறைவேற்றிவிட்டது இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் மூலமாக அவருடைய பரிசுத்த ரத்தத்தின் மூலமாக அந்த பரிசுத்த ரத்தத்தை சிந்துவதன் மூலமாக அந்த ரத்தத்தினால் கழுவப்படுகிற அனைவருக்கும் இந்த ரட்சிப்பு உண்டாகும் என்பதை ரோமர் மூன்று இருபத்தி பார்க்கிறோம் பார்க்கும்போது இந்த பாவ திருப்பாதார பலிக்கு ஆனால் ஒரு முழுமையான விளக்கம் கொடுக்கப்படுகிறது He is a propitiation for our sins, not only for us, but the sins of the whole world. In the end of the day, we are going to be able to do it. That is, Jesus Christ is going to be able to do it. That is, Jesus Christ is going to be able to do it. That is what we would call as propitiation. In 1 John 4.10, it is because the propitiation of the Lord Jesus Christ came because He loved us, because God loved us and God sent forth His own Son. Uh, we see that in John 3.16, again it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not die, but shall have everlasting life. That's why he is a Christ way. This was the way he was born. He was born and he was born and he was born and he was born. He was born and he was born and he was born. That's why he is a Christ way. He was born and 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 he was born. You see that in, in Hebrews 2.27, that the lord jesus christ was a propitiation because he is a merciful and a faithful high priest atragi yesu christu oru oru miginda irakkumulla miginda miginda irakkumulla miginda anbodiya miginda uttamamana in the in the high priest and solum bodu what we could find is that um, uh, he was making a remission of the sins of the people there pradhana asiraga atragi yesu christu இந்த மனிதருடைய பாவங்களை கற்றாக தேவனுக்கு முன்பாக அவர் அறிக்கை செய்து நமக்காக பரிந்து பேசுகிறவராய் அவர் இருக்கிறார் ஸோ ஹி வாஸ் அ ஒன் ஹூ ஸ்பீக்ஸ் ஆன் பிஹாஃப் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஆஃப் பிஃபோர் தாதர் ஒய் டஸ் ஹி டூ தட் வாட் இஸ் த ரீசன் ஃபார் திஸ் ப்ரொபிசியேஷன் பிகாஸ் யூ அண்ட் ஐ வாஸ் சேவ் பை தி பிளட் ஆஃப் த லார்ட் ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் ஷுட் நாட் கோ த்ரூ ரெவலேஷன் ஒவ்வொரு காலத்திற்குள்ளாக நாம் கடந்து செல்லக்கூடாது என்பதற்காக தான் கடைசி சொட்டு ரத்தம் வரையும் கடைசி அவருடைய கிருமியின் காலம் வரையும் யாரும் கெட்டு போகாத யாரும் கெட்டு போகாத படிக்கு அனைவரும் கத்தராக ஏ தேவனுடைய ரட்சிப்புக்குள்ளாக வர வேண்டும் என்பதற்காக தான் கத்தராக ஏசு கிறிஸ்து கிருபாதார பலியானார் ஹி வாஸ் அ ப்ரொபிசியேஷன் ஃபார் ஆல் ஆஃப் ஹியூமனிட்டி வாட் ஆர் தங்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரொபிசியேஷன் இந்த கிருபாதார பலியான கத்தராக ஏசு கிறிஸ்துக்கு அவருடைய பணிகள் யாது ப்ரொபிசியேஷன் வாஸ் மேட் டு ஆப்சன் ஆஃப் காட் 
uh, wrath of God is, is the centerpiece of the tribulation period. When we talk about the pre-tribulation rapture, let us be very clear. The pre-tribulation rapture is something that will come before the wrath of God is poured on us. Once the wrath of God is poured on you, if you have been saved in the age of grace, that means you have lost your salvation. And therefore, the only way by which you, you can come to heaven is to go through the tribulation, die as a martyr, and then come to heaven there. But if you are a saved person in this particular period of the age of grace, you and I will have the greatest privilege of being transformed from mortality to immortality. Let me make this very thing clear, my dear brothers and sisters. In the pre-tribulation rapture, you are not experiencing the wrath of God primarily because the wrath of God has been poured out on the Lord Jesus Christ so that you and I are saved. We see that in Romans 1 18, because the Lord God's wrath of God will come against all ungodliness and all unrighteousness and against all unholiness. Whether it is a great sin or a tiny sin, sin is sin before the Lord God. May I now request everybody uh, in this particular audience to completely commit yourselves because once you lose this most precious, most privileged age of grace, you will enter into the wrath of God in the tribulation period. The wrath of God and the tribulation period are synonymous to each other. Then in Romans 3.25, the Lord Jesus Christ was made a public spectacle for us because he died on the cross. Therefore, only one who has given the perfect atonement can come to the throne of grace. Uh, to, to offset the wrath of God. How can you go and intercede for, for someone? Only when a person lays down his life, only he has that particular liberty to come to the throne of grace. Because Therefore, we should never lose the salvation, my dear brothers and sisters. There is a false doctrine that is going on in this churches today. It is called as once saved as always saved. Right in Singapore also, there is another important doctrine that is going, which is called as hyper grace. My dear brothers and sisters, there is no hyper grace. There is nothing called once saved, always, always saved. You have to work out your salvation with fear and trembling <coughs> every day, every hour, every minute. <coughs> this is because we will be exposed to the wrath of God if we have unrighteousness in us. Therefore, we have to be cleansed by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to be sanctified by the, by the Lord Jesus Christ, by His grace. And we have to be acceptable in His sight, actually. And that is what we see that in 3.25. ஒரு <laughs> In the Nerum, Nal wooden body, wooden body, wooden wooden part in the Yukudan, Christopher Walkai, Adil Adila Vital, Marindra, Ragatia, Varegil, Nam Sella Muria, we are sealed by the Holy Spirit unto the day of the rapture, therefore, we should not distress the Holy Spirit. And Pragi, yes, Christopher, we tell the Nalagia and the Ragatia Varegi Kaga, Arsata and our Namme Mutri Tula, Edisher Nal Mukodi, Ephesians four thirty. Therefore, we should not distress the Holy Spirit. Therefore, that is something that is very important. Thirdly, 
the function of propitiation is seen in john 3:36 yohan 3:36 கத்ராஜே இயேசு கிறிஸ்து உடைய குமரனாகிய இயேசு கிறிஸ்து நமக்கு இந்த நித்திய வாழ்வு கொடுத்துள்ளார் Christ Jesus was was risen from the death actually there 1 Corinthians 15:4 and 20 says that Christ Jesus is the first fruit of resurrection because Christ Jesus is the first fruit of resurrection he is the possessor of eternal life கத்ராஜே இயேசு கிறிஸ்து இந்த நித்திய ஜீவனுடைய முழு அதிபதி அவர் தான் இந்த நித்திய ஜீவனுக்கு உள்ளான அனைத்து பொக்கிஷமும் அவரிடத்தில் தான் உள்ளது அது எதை எங்க பார்க்கும் என்றால் ஒன்று குறுந்தர் பதினைந்தாம் அதிகாரம் நாலாம் வசனம் மற்றும் இருபதாம் வசனத்தில் பார்க்கும் போது அவர் நமக்காக முதல் பணியாகிய உறுப்பினர்கள் முதல் முதல் பணியாகினதுனால் அவர் நமக்காக இந்த நித்திய வாழ்வை கொடுத்துள்ளார் has been on both in the revelation period we see that as a fourth function of propitiation in revelation 14:10 both who have rejected the eternal life of christ are made to drink the cup of god's wrath katragi yesu christu odiya inda nithya vaalve yar yarallam niragi parlo ubathro kaalathil devudaiya kobaakinin kalasathai avargal kudikka vendiya soolnalai kulaga thallapaduvargal you know why because in the garden of gethsemane the lord jesus christ had to drink the cup of god's wrath many times the lord jesus christ is telling his father he, he tells his father father if it is your will please take the cup away but then again he says not my will but your will palamurai katrage yesu christu and the vyagulathudan gethsemane thotathil avar alundu kedithukondirukka nerathil avar sonna ore or vaarthai pidavai umukku sithamai irundal indha paathram enai vittu neer kadavu endru sonnar ஆனாலும் என் சித்தம் அல்ல உங்களுடைய சித்தம் என்று அவர் முழுமையாக தன்னை தானே பிதானுடைய அதிகாரத்திற்கு அவர் தாழ்த்தினார் தோட்டத்தில் அனுபவித்த அந்த பாடுகளின் தான் நாம் வருகின்ற உபத்திரவு காலத்திலிருந்து மீட்டெடுக்கப்படுகிறோம் என்பதை எம்பிசியர் நாலு முப்பது திட்டம் தெளிவுமாக சொல்லப்படுகிறது தேவனுடைய கோபாக்கினை எப்படி வரும் என்றால் அதனுடைய தண்டனை அதோட முடிவு தண்டனை என்னவென்றால் மரணம் இந்த மரணமானது கொடிய மரணம் மரணமானது ஒரு சாதாரண மரணமாக வராது இன்றைக்கு அநேக மக்கள் மிக பரிதாபமாக இந்த வியாதினால் மறித்துக் கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் இந்த மரணமானது அதாவது வெளிப்படுத்தல் சொல்லப்படுகின்ற மரணமாகும் மிகமிகுறான but the death during the time of tribulation will be deadly actually there uh, according to uh, Thessalonians 1:10 it says Christ Jesus was basically what was called the propitiation to deliver us from the wrath to come uh, because this is something very important uh, because the lord jesus christ died on the cross of calvary you and i don't need to go through this wrath because christ jesus is the insurance is a blessed assurance so that we don't need to go through what is called as the uh, of the wrath to come there so we we go to the next slide and uh, we find that what what was this uh, function of propitiation there um, in the next thing we'll find the seventh function of uh, propitiation is in 1 Thessalonians 5:9 the word of god very clearly says that those who are in Christ Jesus are not appointed unto wrath please underline this particular word katragi yesu christu kulaga ரட்சிக்கப்பட்ட மக்கள் வருகின்ற கோபாக்கினைக்கு கோபாக்கினையிலிருந்து தப்பிக் கொள்வார்கள் என்பதை திட்டம் தெளிவமாக அப்போசனாகிய பவுல் ஒன்று தெசலோனிக்கர் ஐந்தாம் அதிகாரம் ஒன்பதாம் வருஷத்தில் அவர் எழுதியுள்ளார் அதை ஆங்கிலத்தில் வாசிக்கும் போது the qualification of a pre tribulation rapture is that if you escape the wrath of god by the remission of your sins through christ jesus while in the grace period you are not appointed unto wrath this is one more argument i am giving you 
because the rapture will take place only once and it is before the wrath of God is poured and that is called the pre-tribulation rapture. The ninth function of, uh, of propitiation is seen in 2nd Thessalonians verses 7 to 9 because here through the suffering that the Lord Jesus Christ went through the garden of Gethsemane, went through the trials, went through crucifixion, that the Lord Jesus Christ took the tribulation upon him and he avenges our tribulation. உபத்திரவத்தைப்பிரபுசியேஷன் இஸ் The tribulation period is a consuming fire. We see that in Hebrews 12, 29, because many of the judgments, of the 21 judgments, seven seal judgments, seven trumpet judgments, uh, seven uh, uh, trumpet judgments and seven bold judgments, which we'll see that in the later days, is going to be mostly by fire. Akni nal patshikum in the kodiya ubatrotan kalam varum. You see that in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, he says, of the known world was destroyed by water. But then again, the Lord Jesus Christ gave a promise to Noah that he gave the sign of the rainbow and he said that he will not destroy the world by water. But what the word of God very clearly says in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, please underline it, the coming destruction of this world will be through fire. Therefore, the tribulation is what is called as a fiery tribulation. These are the 10 functions of, of, of propitiation because from the fiery tribulation, the Lord Jesus Christ rescues us. அளிக்கப்பட்டதோ வானர்கள் கொடுத்த அந்த உத்தரவாதத்தின் மூலமாக இந்த உலகம் மீண்டுமாக தண்ணீரில் அளிக்கப்படாது ஆனால் வருகின்ற இந்த உலகம் வருகின்ற அக்னி நாள் அளிக்கப்படும் என்பது திட்டம் தெளிவுமாக கூப்பிடப்படுகிறது திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் வில் பி டிஸ்ட்ராய்ட் பை கன்சியூமிங் ஃபயர் ரெண்டு பேர் மூன்றாம் அதிகாரம் பத்தாம் வருஷத்தில் வாசிக்கும் போது இந்த உலகமானது மிகுந்த அக்னி நாள் அளிக்கப்பட்டு உலோகங்கள் உருகும் நிலையில் வரும் You know, the, the fiery tribulation will be as such that all the metals will melt here. What kind of tribulation that will be there? Let me just give you a preview of the tribulation. There is going to be a lot of nuclear war that is going to happen in the period of tribulation. My dear brothers and sisters, please alert everybody. You are a whistleblower. You are to stand in the gap and intercede for many people. If you are going to go through a period of nuclear war, Let me tell you, the air you breathe will be nuclear radiation. The water you drink will be nuclear radiation. The food you eat will be nuclear radiation. Today, you are afraid of the coronavirus. You are washing your hands. You are washing your hands. You are washing your body many times. You are applying sanitizer. But let me tell you, in case of a nuclear radiation, no soap will clean it. No sanitizer will clean it. Nuclear radiation, when it goes into a person's body, the half-life of nuclear radiation is going to be 6,000 years. The white 12 carbon dating of nuclear radiation is going to be 6,000 years. Periyamanavarilai varigindra in the Uvatrao Kalathil in the Yepudi in the Kodiya Akkini Yerpadum in Dal, Anuvai the Porinal Yerpadum. In the Yepudi in the Kodiya Akkini Yerpadum in Dal, Anuvai the Porinal Yerpadum. In the Yepudi in the Kodiya Akkini Yerpadum in the Yepudi in the Kodiya Akkini Yerpadum in Dal, Anuvai the Porinal Yerpadum in Dal, Anuvai the Porinal Yerpadum in Dal, Uh, France, Israel, Pakistan, India, Iran, and North Korea. All these countries have nuclear weapons. In the Pakistan article, Anuvayda te veitulana. In the Anuvayda porinal varudadhan, in the Urugam urugi pogim patalam. Vendu urugam kalam. In the Vendu urugam kalatei, Rendu Pedro, Moonra Madhigaram, Patta Masatal Purika Parigaradu. So, 2 Peter 3.10 actually talks about the nuclear war all across the continent. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, the whole world will not going to be destroyed. Parts of this world will be destroyed. Because if the whole world is destroyed, 
uh, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ coming to save the rest of them will not happen. That is one more reason why the Lord Jesus Christ does not allow, uh, the Lord God does not allow the total destruction, but he's going to allow the partial destruction. But if you're going to be here in the tribulation period, my dear brothers and sisters, you have to breathe atomic radiation. You have to drink atomic radiated water. You have to eat atomic radiated food. முன்பாக <laughs> இந்த அறிவு நான் உங்களுக்கு சொல்ல வேண்டும் என்பதை ஆண்டவராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்து இன்றைக்கு எனக்கு பாரமாக சொன்னார் பிரபோசியேஷன் Now we will see how propitiation is the process. In the Kirubadharam Pali, in the Solopadikindra, Kirstiwe Kirubadharam, in the Solopadikindra, 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 Christ Jesus is our access to the holiest presence of God the Father, as it is mentioned in Hebrews 9.5. This is called the mercy seat. The Lord Jesus Christ goes to the mercy seat. He pleads for us before the Father. Because of this propitiation of pleading, we are not being subject to tribulation we are not being subject to god's wrath atraga yesu christ odi anudina thavanadukal sendru kirubadara baliyaga and the kirubasana bali kirubasana and the and the and the and the, the nakalidil sendru atraga yesu christ namakkaga avan man avan mandradum bodu hebrew moonram aida adhigaram ainda masal paarkumbodu he pleads for us Secondly, Christ Jesus is a justification by propitiation. So that we are not appointed unto tribulation. We see that in Romans 3.22, because the righteousness of God is fulfilled in Christ Jesus. in the kobakinel inde namme kapudikra thirdly christ jesus is the atonement of all humanity sins atrag yesu christ thannudeya songa we celebrate kodutadral in the in the rachipanad the salvation in christ jesus leads to the escaping of the wrath of god 1 yohann 1 9 il paarkumbodhu nam nam namakkaga katra yesu christ celebrate mari arayapattu ஒன்று <laughs> it is not through your good life you are saved my dear brothers and sisters you are saved by grace that grace is not hyper grace that grace is a grace that is given according to the full measure of the full redemption of the perfect atonement atragi yesu christianodiya poorna thirvayinalum avar poorna irakkathinalum poorna thirumadara baliyinal anadinal namakku mulumiyana rakshippu vandathu hebrews 2 10 adhi paathukonga Christ Jesus is a high priest of reconciliation so that we are made his own children atragi yesu christ namakkaga pradana aasriraga namakkaga avar devanidathil nammai ondu serthar hebrews 2:17 christ jesus is a mercy of god atragi yesu christ devanudi kirumai endru dhan solla mudiyum avudi irakkam endru solla mudiyum because through mercy he has given us atonement and reconciliation by hebrews 8:12 ஒரு 
Seventhly, Christ Jesus is a humanity for us. Christ Jesus is a humanity because he took upon himself a human body. He was crushed for our transgressions and he suffered on the cross the most gruesome death. And the Arumani Nerum, Kodi Silvain Maranatil, Avar Maranum Chantitan, our Weir Telinal, Maranathan Mithum, Padalathan Mithum, our Vetti Kanta, Ponosi Rend, Mundal Padimun and Padin in the Vasik Modu, our Andagarangali Kilitirinta, the Lord Jesus Christ tore up everything and he cut down all that was obstructing us from what we could call as uh, the Father and the Reconciled unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Fourthly, let us look into the results of propitiation. Uh, we find that the Lord Jesus Christ was a propitiation because of substitution. Of substitution. Because what you and I have to go through tribulation, he was he substituted himself actually. Our 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 We see that Christ was offered once and for all. Hebrews 9.28. Hebrews 9.28 gives what is called the perfect atonement. Katraagi Yesu Christu, Uru Munyana, Kribadara, Peliaga, Namakaga, our Devonodia, Kobakine, Namir Tirkumare, our Purpurta. Thirdly, we find that Christ Jesus was a voluntary sacrifice. Uh, in the Old Testament, we, we, we used to see the involuntary sacrifice of animals. Palayar Padapatrathal Park, Salamun and the Devalai Katapoda, Ayram Ayram. Adigalium, Madigalium, our girl in the Ratha, in the Ratha Bali, our girl, our girl, Bali Targal. You see, the, there is no atonement in the sacrifice of animals. Mirgatai, Nam Bali de Modu, Idanal, Namuk Rachipu Varadi. Yenandal, Yenadan, Ninga, Burga Pri Selitin Alam Seri, in the Ubatro Karatukulaga Salavan. Do you know why Israel is going to go through tribulation? Because they do not believe in the atonement of Christ, but they believe in the atonement of the animals. They are still sinners, actually. Though they are a chosen race, my dear brothers and sisters, the Jewish people, since they have rejected Christ, and since they follow what is called an animal sacrifice, and this animal sacrifice will continue in the tribulation period, in the seven years period, and they are being condemned to tribulation there. Because animal sacrifice does not bring about salvation. ஒருவாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குரியாதுக்குர
God testified in bestowing righteousness through Christ Jesus. அவருடைய பரசத்தை நமக்கு கொடுத்து நம்முடைய பாவங்களை அவர் சுமந்தார் அந்த பாவ திருபாதார பலி ஒன்றுதான் இன்றை வரை நம்மை திருப்பியாக காத்துக் கொள்கிறது அதனால் அதிக திருபை என்று சொல்லிக் கொண்டு நாம் அதிக பாவம் செய்யக்கூடாது இது மிக மிக கடினமான காரியம் ஆனால் பாவத்தை மேற்கொள்ளக்கூடிய கிருபை நாம் கேட்க வேண்டும் அந்த அந்த பாவத்தை மேற்கொள்ளக்கூடிய கிருபை எப்படி வரும் என்றால் ரோமர் பன்னெண்டாம் அதிகாரம் ஒன்றாம் இரண்டாம் வருஷத்தின்படி அணுதினமும் நம்மை நாமே ஜீவன பலியாக கற்றாக இயேசு கிருத்து அப்படி செய்யும் போது நம்மை தாமே நாம் உருமாற்றம் செய்கிறோம் முழு பாவ மன்னிப்பை நமக்கு கொடுத்தார் தேவன் இந்த பாவ மன்னிப்பினால் கிறிஸ்துவாகிய கிருபாதாராகிய பாவம் அனுப்பினால் இந்த கொடிய உபத்திரவ காலத்துக்குள் போக போடாதபடிக்கு நமக்கு முழு மன்னிப்பும் முழு நீதியையும் அவர் கிடைக்க செய்தார் பிகாஸ் தட் இஸ் வாட் வி கால் இன்வெலபிள் பிரஸ்பெரிட்டிஸ்பல் the result of western decadence you know this is typically of the americans and european churches where they talk about prosperity my dear brothers and sisters matthew 6:33 clearly tells you seek ye the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you because only when you seek the righteousness of god only when you seek the forgiveness of god only when you see the justification of god and only when you seek the kingdom of god every other blessing will be added unto you prosperity is not a given blessing prosperity is a bonus blessing priyamanavarle indraik anega mekatya nadugalum agila ulaga nadil ulla sabigalile oru pollana inda durubayadesham prasangikapadigirathu idena enna vendal selipin upadesham selipin upadesham vandu vedathukku purvamana thalla mattiyu 6:33 il solvathu pola mudalavada devude rajyathil neediyam kedungal yavum ungalku kodukapadum endradhan irukirathu தேவனுடைய ராஜ்யம் என்றால் என்ன அவருடைய நீதியை தேட வேண்டும் அவருடைய மனிப்பை தேட வேண்டும் அவருடைய பசத்தை தேட வேண்டும் அவருடைய திருவையை தேட வேண்டும் அவருக்காக நம்ம உழைக்கும் போது மற்ற ஆசீர்வாதங்கள் அனைத்துமாக போனஸாக நம்ம கொடுக்கப்படும் செவன்டீன் and co hardship in Christ Jesus those who have accepted the lord jesus christ voluntarily in this age of grace or heirs and co heirs in christ jesus and that is seen in romans 8:17 because we have direct access to sorry we have access to the god the father by the hardship in christ jesus what kind of hardship katragi yesu christu moolamaga nam sudandra vaaliyaga udan sudandra vaaliyaga devanathil nam indha oru uravai kolgiro எப்படிப்பட்ட உறவு என்றால் ரோமர் எட்டு பதினேழு சொல்லும் போது கத்திராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்து மூலமாக இந்த சுதந்திர இந்த சுதந்திர வாழியுடைய இந்த உறவானது ஏற்படுத்தப்பட்டது கத்திராக தேவனின் மூலமாக இந்த சுதந்திரம் ஆனது நமக்கு வந்து ஒரு அழிவில்லாத சுதந்திரமாக கொடுக்கப்படுகிறது that riches don't save this corona virus has conclusively proved that health doesn't save this corona virus has conclusively proved that the power of nations cannot save you but the justification of the lord jesus christ as a propitiation for us will be the only salvation for all humanity there <clears throat> you will not be able to find a vaccine you will not be able to find a medicine my dear brothers and sisters the blood of the lord jesus christ not only cleanses us from all our sins and unrighteousness 
It will cleanse us from every virus and bacteria there. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have an imperishable inheritance according to 1 Peter 1 4. Katragi Yesu Christu Kalaga, our dear Ratatin Monomaga, Nam Pava Nevarana Marigrom, Yadigal Nevarana Marigrom, one to Pedro, one to Nalan Monomaga Park of Mother, Katragi Yesu Christu Monomaga, Ali Bulaga, in the in the Nitiate Nam Perigro. Secondly, John 17 22 says, as for those who receive Christ, they are all called the children of God. This mm -hmm. is what is called the hardship in Christ Jesus. The children of God is, is, a, is a great, uh, you know, it, it's a great privilege actually there. And that privilege comes because Christ was made as a propitiation. And because of Christ's propitiation, we are saved from death and tribulation and transformed into life. Thirdly, we have what is called the full inheritance in Christ Jesus. The propitiation of Christ Jesus gives us full inheritance in Christ Jesus. We see that in Matthew 25, 34, Galatians 3, 21, Colossians 1, 12, 3, and 24. I don't have time to elaborate these verses. I wish I had time. But let me give you the sum and substance there. The full inheritance in Christ Jesus has got three benefits. I have not put this in the slide, but let me explain to you. The full inheritance in Christ Jesus gives you three benefits. Number one, we have access to the throne of Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that is mentioned in what we would so called as Second Corinthians 5.10. After the blessed rapture, you and I will have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ Jesus. That is called the Bema seat of judgment. This is not a judgment unto penalty, it is a judgment unto rewards. When we stand before Christ, we have to give an accounting for our works and the faith we had. Uh, uh, that is seen in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 to 13. 1 Corinthians that is what is called the period of rewards. Thirdly, it's not only in terms of standing before judgment, but the rewards. We will have the guaranteed eternal life in New Jerusalem. In the Vulagam Alam Alim Prague, Puri Jerusalem will Nam Pudi Magan Laga Angaimbom. That is what is mentioned in Ephesians 3, uh, uh, it is mentioned in Philippians 3.17. That is, we are, uh, we do not have a citizenship on earth, but our citizenship is in heaven. Uh, 